Hi, this is Tim at Slide Dynamic, and this is a video tutorial on how you can embed the Slide Dynamic Flash navigation menus um, that come with our add in uh, within an embedded flash file in a PowerPoint slide, uh, allowing you to control PowerPoint from within that embedded flash file. So, uh, just to give you an example, here I have a PowerPoint set of slides, so 11 in all, and here I have an interactive flash file that I've created just as an example, and here's the FLA, the source file. So I'll walk through the whole process so it's clear. So here are my 11 slides, and those are the, uh, the thumbnails. So the first thing we need to do is apply the uh, slide dynamic flash menu system to this PowerPoint, allowing you to present in a non-linear fashion if it's useful. So the first thing we need to do is add a menu style. So I'm just going to use the uh, vertical thumbnail template. Just click open and just select that. So this just applies the uh, menu to each slide. It's not visible. Uh, in show mode you have to call it so it doesn't detract from the message you're giving or presentation. The next thing we need to do is populate the content of the menu with obviously the content of this presentation which is uh, the slides title and uh, the actual thumbnail I'll explain in a moment. So there are my 11 slides and you can obviously select and deselect which um, slides you want in included in the navigation. So I'll just do them all and it generates all the content for you. So if I just save that and close um, if I just go back now and open it okay so if I go as if I'm going to present it just to show you the basic principle um, so here are my slides and here you'll see the the launch button if you like which can be customized and placed anywhere in fact it can be made transparent um, and I can go through and present and if I want to go sort of non-linear in terms of going to a different slide I can just click on it and here you will see the flash menu that comes with slide dynamic and you can see the thumbnail and if you hide, sort of move your mouse over it you get the, um, the slides th um, title um, and obviously if you click on it of course you will go to that slide so uh, the thing is is that on occasion it's kind of useful to embed uh, a flash file to show some animation or provide some level of interactivity and uh, what I did was I created one earlier, it's called Flash Interactive. So what I'll do is I'll just copy that file name because I want to embed that in my PowerPoint slide. And I'm going to embed it at slide 10. So in order to do that, I'll do it the old fashioned way. You go to the Developer tab, you click the More Tools icon, which is a Hammer and Spanner. And if you go down to find Shockwave Flash Object, and click OK and your cursor turns into a crosshair. Now usually you wouldn't drag this across the entire slide sort of height and width because in effect once you go into show mode and go to that flash file uh, it steals the focus away from PowerPoint meaning you cannot navigate using left and right mouse keys, up and down page keys or any of the, um, any of the buttons on your mouse. Um, and the whole point of this tutorial is to show how you can address that. So I'll embed the uh, Shockwave flash object. And if I go into the properties field, go to movie um, and click paste, all that does is just puts the, uh, the flash file that I want to embed in that slide and makes it available. So if I click save, now if I go as if I'm presenting, and there is my flash file. Now just to explain, this is just an interactive one uh, allowing you, we wanted to build a, a demonstration so one of the benefits of Flash is you can do stuff like drag and drop and you can do this in PowerPoint but we found it easier just in this example to um, do it in Flash so I'm just going to build a network here um, actually I'll move that there and then I'm just going to show how you can connect this together and then click that and that and that and that okay so that's my interactive Flash file so you can see I'm trying to build a network so the idea is that as I'm presenting and I'm trying to explain how a network fits together you could probably show this in, in real time so that's not the point of the presentation anyway so I'm going to save that just shave it as a uh, anybody who's interested will just shave it, save it as a shared object 
Okay, right, so I'm gonna clear down out of that now. So here's the thing, while I'm in presentation mode, um, the thing is that this covers the whole slide, so I can't, if I click on it anywhere, I'm trying to go to the next slide, it will not work. So this is what we have to address. So I'm gonna actually close down out of that now. Click save. Um, go back into my um, folder. There it is. So that's the, the flash file I've got embedded. Uh, there's my presentation, and this is the source file. Now, the thing is, is that when uh, Slide Dynamic creates all its content, the navigation, it creates two folders. One, the information folder, uh, which actually contains some additional flash files that we use. Uh, it contains the thumbnail folder, so these are the thumbnails, and it creates an XML file, all of which is not important. The one that is important is within the information folder, slide dynamic.swf that's the core flash navigation menu so now if I go into flash and open up my um, flash interactive file but I'll open it as the source so now what I'm going to do is actually uh, embed the compiled flash navigation menu within this slide uh, flash file I should say confusing myself now so if I just make it minimize it so we can actually see it so this is my um, file. Um, what I want to do is embed the menu here. So there are several ways. If you're a Flash developer, you'll have your own sort of personal choice. I'll make this really simple. Um, and it's not just Flash. So this is Flash, obviously. But if you're using Swishmax or any of the other Flash authoring tools, they all have their own methods. So if I just go to Components, I'm just going to go to the Loader component. Just um, Actually, I just need to go and add a layer. So that's a layer. Bring it to the top. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, so I just need to resize it so that the menu is shown uh, correctly. So I'll just go ahead and do that. I'll just drag it roughly to the size I'm looking to do. This will display the um, uh, display the menu. Uh, so let's just make that 175. And let's make it. Okay, so now I need to do is uh, just configure it. So if you just go to Component Inspector, and I just need to put in the path. So the path is always in information backslash and then a slide dynamic com. Silly me, got this WF. Do I want to scale the content? You need to set that to false. And then we need to export that movie and just overwrite this one that's already embedded in PowerPoint. Okay. And just hit publish. I'll leave that open. Okay. So now uh, we should be able to just to check it. Ah, there you go. So there's the, the flash menu. Okay, so now all being well, we should be able to go back to PowerPoint where this is embedded. And if I just go to here, I'm just going to show mode. Uh, so there you are. So there's my flash file, and there is the slide dynamic menu embedded within it. So I can then go to that slide, go and present. I can go to any slide. I can go back to um, this one where the menu is, and there you have it. So I've shown the menu. You could obviously have some sort of button that shows it, but that's how you can integrate um, Slide Dynamics PowerPoint menu within a flash file that's then embedded in PowerPoint to allow you to scale it full height and width and then still retain some control over going to other slides and navigation. Anyway, I hope it was helpful. Sorry if it was a bit disjointed in the middle. Thanks very much.